overcame uh, Falco in Zork, took him out 3-1. Zork, took out Zork. Yeah. And Hump Humpa got here beating Svet Sveta. Sveta, yeah. Sveta. Huh. And uh, Humpa actually got sent to losers by Armada playing Peach, so uh, he could risk being double eliminated by the same character again. Mm. Uh, not a, you know, not not too shabby of a day if you're losing to, you know, Armada and Trefasia, basically, you know, arguably the two best Peaches. Yeah, quite respectable. And Humpa off to a sizable lead here, but yeah. we'll need to actually close out the stock. Ooh, not quite. That's a really, really good kill move. Yeah. You know, he gets down smashed. Yeah, combo's gonna continue off that. Yeah, and he edge cancels out of the combo. And much like Armada, Triff uh, has a tremendous uh, combo game. Yeah. yeah I think Not these days, if you're a if you're a peach, you have to. Yeah. You've gotta make the most of all of your openings. Mm -hmm. And Hopa kind of throwing out, you know, just trying to trying to play sort of the arrow game around Triff. I like his um. I like the way he's sort of handling, you know, approaching the matchup. He gets shield grab there, but yeah, oh, mostly, mostly kind of seems to know what he's doing. Ooh, good tech, and he actually makes it back. Yeah, that was really clutch. And um, catches uh, Triff giving him a bit too much space when he was hanging from the ledge there, and could safely uh, do the double laser from the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Good awareness there by Triff, covering the straight to the ledge option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're Falco and you're that far away, you pretty much have to side me. So yeah. Not going to get too much range off of that uh, stubby little up B. Yeah. But Hoopa playing well. Nairing through the jabs. A lot of, uh, sometimes people, you know, who are used to dash dance grabbing for every punish, you know, they try to dash dance grab Peach, and of course, she doesn't have any lag on her float cancel area, so it's much harder, but yeah. you can beat it, you know, you can beat the jabs by just aerialing sometimes. They'll just cleanly beat the jabs. Yeah, and uh, if the Peach is uh, busy uh, jabbing, she can't really crouch cancel either. Right, right, right. Little slow on that punch. I think he probably could have connected that downer if he was a little quicker. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Triff kind of sneaking right. over the laser. Nice recovery from Humba. Yeah, it looked like yeah, Triff was considering going out there and then mm. kind of pulled back at the last oh. second. Okay. And yeah, he was able to DI the combo, but yeah, that recovery down air. Oh, Triff. Yeah. Triff is going all the way out there. And that's kind of the, you know, if you know they're going to up here, or if you got a pretty good feeling, you might as well just go out there. Pretty much the only way that. They're gonna be able to make it back if they side me. Ooh. Text out of the down smash. That's always one of the first things you gotta know how to do. Oh, she'll drop there. But yeah, if you're if you're oh. down smashing or getting down smashed by a peach and you're not teching, it's pretty bad. Yeah. And also, uh, there's some other tricks like if you're getting edge guarded with the down smash to know how to smash the the first hit, yeah. so the second one sends you in instead of out. Right, right. Yeah, use it. Take advantage of the of the way it sends you. It's kind of one of these moves that you have to get hit by a lot until you sort of start understanding how it works. Exactly. It's got to be beaten into uh, recognition. Mm -hmm. Ooh, up smash, not, not going to be enough. Not quite. Okay. Hoopa trying to turn it on a little bit. So Hoopa took the, the first stock, but we're seeing uh, Triff, a full stock up here towards the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hoopa doing a lot of those dash dance, uh, dash dance nairs. Mm. Turnip kind of messing Humpa up there. That's something I noticed uh, playing Trapezia myself is that he really likes to set up little traps with his turnips. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about uh, hitting you with it right now, but for that to be there to extend his uh, combo later on or uh, ruin your combo if you are able to get a grab on him. Right, right, right. To like throw it up or something like that. Exactly. Yeah, he's... Hoopa's been giving him... Uh, okay, oh! oh. <laughs> All right. Almost. Down there's him uh, through the stage there. Yeah, straight through the stage. Um, yeah, Hoopa's been giving him some of those float cancel foreigners, I feel like. He's doing the, the short up laser. He's just a little too close. Exactly. And so Trefasia is able to smack him over, you know. And that's that's kind of the, the spacing battle, where you just need to be really aware that the Peach can't get in on you if you're shooting short up lasers. Yeah. Which is why I, it's a little bit surprising to me that he opted for Yoshi's rather than Pokemon. Just I because was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, yeah. It seemed like he wants to be a little further away than he is. But, you know, maybe he knows something we don't. This first stock's going incredibly well. Yeah. Oh, there's the Stitch face. 
Uh, somehow it uh, disappeared. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, I, you know, whatever. It was there briefly. Yeah. I saw it too. <laughs> I guess the one advantage uh, for this stage, uh, well, there's some several advantages because you can kill off the top as well, but also the fact that this stage has a top platform and uh, Pokemon does not. Mm. It's definitely in uh, Falco's favor. Mm. Okay. Double laser grab. Oh. It's one of those weird out of shield options that probably wasn't meant to be a short up laser. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He's trying to. Okay. Trafasia probably noticing that Boompa hasn't done the best job punishing his rolls because Trafasia started rolling a lot. Yeah, oh, there, there's one. We but. saw both players kind of waiting and trying to, to play it really safe at mm -hmm. the end of that stock. And uh, suddenly, Humpa just loses his composure and immediately Triff just nares him out of shield. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the struggle. Very important not to oh. start. Oh my god. Good DI on that uh, final shine there. Yeah. Get out of the way. Nope. Triff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Trace is so hard to edge guard. He's uh, really good at just knowing exactly where to position his float. Trying to tempt you to commit. Ooh. Oh, shine off the top. Don't Hope need to edge guard if you kill him off the top. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, Humpa <laughs> gives gives Peach the benefit of the doubt. It says, yeah, you know, you might have down smash up there. I better just wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You definitely don't want to jump into a down smash from below. Mm hmm. Hoopa coming alive right now, actually. Honestly, it's like... It's like the short up laser really isn't that big a part of his Ooh. game. Oh, Trafasia with the falling softener. Yeah, and I thought when he connected that, he would definitely get the kill in Hoompa, but I didn't think he was going to make it back, but proving mm. me wrong here. Yeah, Hoompa playing the platforms a lot, and I guess that's... Uh, oh, okay, another kill off the top. Yeah, the, the... The neutral game, you know, he's playing more platform style, and a lot of his kills he's getting off the top, so if that's how you want to do things, you know, Yoshi's story is absolutely where you should go. Yeah. Trafasia turning that situation around, rolls out of the combo. Yeah, that was kind of a, kind of a sloppy background on Trafasia's part. And this has typically also been the only stage where West Balls has had any real success against their modest Peach as well. Right. Oh, oh okay. Nice idea. Yeah. Was, worth the, was worth the shot. Yeah, had the right thing in mind there, but it was just a little bit too late for to catch Randall there. Oh, wow. Strange, uh... <laughs> felt like he shouldn't really have gotten that shield grab, but he did. And yeah, Boompa, um, kind of catching him. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Scary catch situation there as he runs off the stage to uh, hit him with some extra lasers. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. And Hoopa's on the board against yep. Trafasia. 1-1. One, one. So let's see what uh, Trafasia has in plans here, uh -huh. like if he wants to go to Fountain or FD. I see Overtrivers in the back. Um, fellow fellow Spaniard, yeah? So he's yep. got to be rooting for Triff. <laughs> Triff's first turn of the game was a Stitch Face there, but he kind of just threw <laughs> it away. Yeah, his Stitch Faces haven't really gone to the best use this game so far. <laughs> no, exactly. The last game it lasted for all of uh, 0 0.1 seconds, and this time he just chucks it without much uh, commitment. Yeah, we already see uh, Humpa drastically altering his playstyle. I think he's shot more short up lasers already in this game than he did all of last game. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, you kind of have to. You can't play the platforms if there are no platforms. No, exactly. It's like the meme with the guy pointing to his head. <laughs> oh, chain grab here. This is definitely why Triff opted for this stage. Is Triff going to finish this? Mm, I don't know. He's such, like he's in the middle of the stage, so I don't really think he will be able to directly KO. But maybe if he uh, catches this edge guard. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. wow! Humpa being a Swedish player, no uh, stranger to uh, being edge guarded by turnips. Mm -hmm. Finished it. Did not take any. Uh, you know, he hit the nair after all the up throws, and um, oh, this could. Oh, wow! What? Well, that was good conversion by Humpa, but um, when you're already down, I don't know if yeah. uh, you want to be going for a... Uh well, he, he probably wanted to land on the stage. He thought, <laughs> yeah, exactly. he thought he could down and land on the stage. Okay. Decent damage, but he tries to up tilt a little early and Triff waits with the flow. That's something Peach can do that most characters can. Is, uh, you know, sort of bait out your up tilt with just a, a little bit of a float and then come down and punish. Yeah. Gotta be careful about that. Oh my god, he got a side B out. 
was probably supposed to be like a DI to the side and then shine at the yeah. first available Or frame. he was just mashing. Yeah, that could right. also one be or, the one case. The yeah. All right, Triff uh, just solidly, you know, hitting way harder, which is something Peach can obviously do on FD. Hasn't really like lost a single like legitimate <laughs> stock this game. It's uh, we see a double clank between the down tilt and the down smash. Mm -hmm. Probably could have just jab reset into a chain grab, but I, I like the the downer would have been cool if you connected with it. All right. A rising flutter hush air sending trip to the ledge. Yeah, it seems like Humpe's trying to figure out the counterplay for Aerial Peach. Mm, <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, SD from Triff. Now, normally he uh, he was uh, seen as like Mr. Consistency, but uh, we, yeah, but we saw at Beast he also had quite a few SDs. So huh. I wonder uh, if he's uh, starting to feel the pressure of expectations a little bit more now that he's the firmly uh, established number one uh, in Spain. Uh -huh. Sometimes it can be easier to deal with the pressure when you're the underdog. And right, right, right. And yeah, Triff definitely the uh, the favorite to win the set. So but he closes it out. Yeah. Overall playing pretty well. Especially on your first counter pick, that's usually your best stage. So you want to take uh, uh, you know, a confident victory on your oh, first yeah. counter pick. Extra important. Pokemon Stadium, standard, uh, very classic. Space Animal, counter pick stage. And Humpe's going to definitely be playing more of the FD style here. You know, he doesn't have a top platform to go to, but he's got the low ceiling. Yeah, and especially on some of the transformations, he can still find uh, find those uh, shines off the top right. on Peach. Can Ooh. he counter that? Uh, not quite. Maybe if, if he dashed a little bit before before jumping. Yeah, I was thinking maybe dash all the way off and use your uh, you know midair jump. It's possible. Nice wave line out of the combo from Turf. A lot of Peaches are getting better at doing that. Wow, he actually connects with the yeah. There's the the side B you have to do with Peaches going all the way out there. Yeah. Falco's side B is uh, quite fast, so it's it's difficult to, to cover it on a reaction. Mm -hmm. It sort of has to be a, a read. Right. Sometimes there's a bit of a tell in the way the Falco uses jumps uh, as well, but uh, as far as just uh, raw reactions to the side B itself, it's, it's very difficult. Right, right, right. Oh, oh my god, 51, yeah. <laughs> The sad thing was Hump didn't even miss uh, Hope didn't even miss any text there. He actually <laughs> he actually teched both of the, the aerial Ooh. and the down smash. Oh my god. Yeah. And <laughs> I think space animals usually do well on the, the weird transformations of Pokemon Stadium, but that went that went all bad for Hoopa. Yeah. Triff just kinda hitting him with some easy attacks and <laughs> and uh, and Hoopa just kinda dying. He d pressed L when he wasn't didn't mean to and he's gotta work hard now. And it seems like Triff is just a like very aware of when Humpe wants to come up at him in his float with the back air and just catches him with a premature nair. Right. Couldn't find the up air up there, but that'll do it. Three sucks to two. There's a laser grab. Yeah, Humpe, that's the range you want to be doing the short up laser from, where they can't quite land directly on top of you. Yeah. Ooh. Nice Power tech shield. away. Yeah. Power Super. shield down smash. Mm -hmm. Opening him up. Hmm. I think he could have tech chased, tech chased that with like a down air, maybe, maybe down air, maybe dash attack. Yeah. Even the the up tilt could have worked, but he was all the way on the other side of the platform. And uh, Falco's up tilt is big, but not that big. Right. Hitting with a lot of lasers, but not getting too much off of it. But that's oh. a big conversion right there for Humpen. Ties up the stock here. Knows he's on a tournament match here. Ooh. Jumps into the nair. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, he makes it to the ledge because Triff gets the weak dash attack. <laughs> yeah, and using the get up attack against the Peach at zero is very scary, but somehow yeah. he got away with it. Okay. Down smash killing him directly off the side. Exactly. That was one of those situations where he uh, would have been better off if he got hit by the down smash twice and got sent the other way. Same transformation as uh, before, but this time uh, both <laughs> players uh, opting to wait it out. Yeah, they're taking the <coughs> taking the Professor Pro approach. Yeah. Don't want to mess with this tree stump. Gives uh, Triff uh, a chance to dig for a more valuable item, whereas uh, Humpa can uh, practice some tech skill. 
He's gotten like 10 smiley face turnips in a row, though. <laughs> Pretty much didn't get any luck. Just this, the basic turnip over and over and over. Yeah. Got a little bit of a combo there, Humpa, but needs a lot more to uh, tie this up. Yeah. And Triff just playing it really safe. Yeah, rolling whenever he's in trouble. There's an up tilt. I like the spacing of Humpa, just, uh, you know, nudging his way backwards towards Peach. Making right. sure that the up tilt is available should he need it. There's him. He's not going to finish. Now he's got to... Oh, Ooh, that'll do it. Yeah, up the top. Yeah, great bait to get Trift to go onto the stage, and then he uh, gets the up smash kill it. But one of the... That was pretty much some of the lowest percent you can get an up smash kill as, as Falco. Yeah, unless you're like on the top of the mountain or something, you know. Right. This is super doable all of a sudden. Would be a pretty big comeback. Up area, he dies away, nice. Boomba playing super safe right now. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Could be something. Doesn't yeah. doesn't go for a up tilt extension smartly. Yeah, I like that he didn't commit there. Just uh, was happy with what he got after mm -hmm. the reset. Both these guys spot dodging a little bit, rolling a little bit. Ooh, ooh, barely avoids the up air there, Triff. I wonder if we're going to see him wait. Yeah, probably. Looks like it. Yeah, I think Hoompa... Oh, oh, no. He fooled us and he fooled Trevesha. Yeah. The, la the latter being the important one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Taco. He's... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, my God. And game four going to Hoompa. Yeah. Did not look like uh, Triff was ready for that back air. Bias TOs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Of course, Super representing Sweden, he's gonna have uh, more of the f the the, uh, the crowd on his side. Yeah, the crowd and the crew. Now we're seeing a game five here, and I don't think uh, too many people expected to see this, but uh, no, no, no. Humpa looking confident without you know like popping off a mid set as uh, is sort of the case sometimes with underdogs right. overachieving early on. But mm -hmm. he looks uh, calm, knows uh, he hasn't really accomplished anything yet. Right. Yeah, still still more melee to go. Yeah, exactly. Misses yeah, up a laser there, but uh, doesn't get punished. Mm -hmm. Already playing a, a more, a very keep away heavy sort of style. Yeah, he's, ah, uh, that Nair was, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I liked the idea, but. Really good tech there, though. Uh, and now, Triff without, okay. Yeah, Humpet not, not really going too, too ham, so to speak. We're starting to see more rolling from uh, Trifasia, and that's what we saw towards the end of that uh, set against Amsa. And uh, ended up uh, costing him a lot. Even though the the pressure is on and uh, and you're feeling the nerves mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, you got to resist the temptation to just uh, panic roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, he tries to do the shield drop laser. Yep. And Triff just catches him. Good spot to throw it in there, near there for Trefasia because if uh, if Humpe had downed it, I think it just would have traded. Yeah. That, would, that actually would have been really good for Trefasia. Yeah. That's a trade of Peach will take any day. Right. These full jump aerials, they, they do seem to be working, though, from Humpe. Uh Yeah, when you can uh, land safely on the top platform, it's uh, definitely uh, a nice way to try to put on some pressure. Right. Coming Humpa's down is uh, the scary part for Falco. Oh, yeah, good. Wow, that was a roof smash conversion. And we've oh bob bomb here. <laughs> he just throws it. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think uh, I don't think it's worth messing around with the bob bomb for very long. All right. Trafasia going up one one stock. Yep. Full stock here. But Bumpe was down a full stock in uh, the previous game too. So yes, uh, Shoni has the ability to make comebacks against Triff. Yeah, for sure. Triff rolling out of each pressure attempt from uh, from Bumpe. Yeah. Want to see him adjust to that? Again, good power shield by Triff. Returns mm. to the skies. Scary side beat. Probably wouldn't yes. have suicided, but not a good sign. Yeah, it's always tense when you see a Falco uh, side B while he's on the stage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, misspaces his shine, gets grabbed for it, but not the biggest conversion from Trevesha, but that down smash was pretty meaty. Yeah, three hits. Just gonna forward arm off. Typically, yeah, I, I would expect Trefasia to get an edge around like this. He floats yeah, off, gets him. Exactly. Recognizing once you're below the ledges, Falco, you have to up B. 
You're very susceptible to just aerials going yeah. out there. Tournament stock from uh, Humpa here. Once again, this time he has uh, yet another stock to overcome if he wants to make this uh, comeback. Mm -hmm. Triff uh, looking to, uh, to prove his uh, seed correct here by taking out Humpa. Oh, the Shine Bear. Not quite going to be enough though. Yeah, not yet. That's <laughs> okay. Not yet. <laughs> no fountain. Very big ceiling on this stage. Yeah, a lot of other stages that would KO, but the Trefasia just, you know, he just wants to play safe. He's trying not to really get hit. Yeah. And I like that. Even though he's up in stocks, he doesn't yeah, go in recklessly. Well, it's because, you know, after game four, he's got to be thinking, you know, I cannot give this one away too, right? No, exactly. All right. Hoopa. Uh, not out yet. Down uh, one full stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. that hurts. You never want to be jabbing the Crouching Peach. Never, ever. No. Pressure Again, here, though. Triff rolling out of the... Yeah, rolling out of pressure. Rolling out of pressure. Finds the time to pick a turnip there. Well, uh, Humpa went to the top lap. Oh, <laughs> scary situation for both players there. Triff not going out there to cover the ledge option. Mm -hmm. Humpa could have converted with an up tilt there, but went for a jumping shine instead. Missed. <laughs> Tried to cover the top platform, escape from Humpa there with a neutral air, but wasn't quite high enough. Mm -hmm. That was a very weak hit by that down smash at 115%. Yeah, fortunately. But uh, still doing the percent it needs to. Every little bit of percent, you know, makes it, especially as Falco. Makes it so, oh. yeah, that, that might just be enough. He gets the turn up, that's going to do it. Oh, yeah. Trefasia clutching it out over Humpe. 3-2. Yeah. Not falling under the, the pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, gave two games to Humpe, or Humpe earned those two games, I should say, but uh, Trefasia. Yeah, closing it out when it mattered. Exactly. Trefasia's going to move on to top six of, uh, of the bracket here. Yeah, so Trif uh, will be playing the loser of uh, Leffen versus Over, so we might see some... Uh, Ooh, Spa uh, Spain team kill. Exactly, some friendly fire among the Spaniards. So we're going to move on to the, the winner's side of the bracket now, mm -hmm. uh, where we have Armada versus Amsa. And 